I had an opportunity a few years ago to interview John Taylor Gatto. He was Teacher of the Year for New York State. I believe it was in the late 80s. Uh, eventually, he just got fed up with the system, and he wrote the well-known book, Dumbing Us Down. He's also done a lot of other extensive research into the history of American education, exactly where it comes from and what it's doing. And he really discovered, he and others have discovered, that the education system in this country is not what we think. It's so easy to just believe that, hey, everybody has the right to a great education. The government needs to provide this great education for all of us. But our education has become so centralized in Washington, D.C., that really only a few people control what the vast majority of us end up learning in our lives. Uh, and what John Taylor and others have discovered, excuse me, what John Taylor Gatto and others have discovered is that the education system has actually not been about educating us. And in fact, uh, over the last 60, 70 years, we've seen a steady decline in uh, the uh, vocabulary levels of high school and college graduates, uh, in their abilities in math and science. Uh, a lot of situations right now here in California, we don't even have music programs. Uh, and our arts programs getting cut left and right. Uh, I mean, this education system has been a complete failure. Uh, people don't have anywhere near the depth and the breadth of knowledge that they used to 100 years ago. The literacy rates have fallen from 100 years ago dramatically. I mean, this is unbelievable. And yet the government spends hundreds of billions of dollars on this. Now, do you think they spend hundreds of billions of dollars a year and they're just screwing it up? Well, people like John Taylor Gatto will tell you that, no, this is, this is done on purpose. This is a conditioning. Uh, they spend these hundreds of billions of dollars hiring the best psychologists and psychiatrists around in order to develop a system that creates a good worker. This is what's important to the people that created our education system. They're not looking to create strong, educated individuals that can think for themselves. They're looking to create people that will be good workers, that do what, they to that, that do what they're told. Uh, people that uh, don't have a problem with uh, only being able to eat when they're told they can eat, only going to the bathroom when they're told that they're allowed to go to the bathroom. Uh, when the bell rings, everybody gets up and shifts over to a, a whole different conversation. Um, this isn't how education has been done in Western culture for the last 3,000 years, but for some reason, for the last 100 years, we've been uh, subjugating ourselves to this or subjecting ourselves to this system that has really not been helpful uh, for us. Uh, it's not helpful for our children. Uh, we're not getting a quality education right now. And what this does is this lowers our abilities for critical thinking. So then we can't notice uh, other things that the system is, is doing. Uh, when we don't have an education behind us, then we can't really perceive uh, when people are taking advantage of us, when uh, we're getting a raw deal. Uh, when we don't understand the history of how things developed, then we can't really discover uh, uh, what's going on now in the present. We, we're never going to be able to understand that. Uh, so without improving our education system, without creating an education system uh, that teaches people how to be strong, healthy, happy individuals rather than teaching them to kowtow to authority uh, and being conditioned to to work in conditions that are, uh, you know, less than appropriate for a human being, uh, we're just not going to really make this shift. So, you know, education is the place where we really need to start working on creating the next generation of healthy, happy, intelligent human beings that can make choices for themselves. Um, this is where the shift has to start happening. It's going to be very important to, <clears throat> first of all, recognize that the education system actually has this dumbing us down effect. And then second of all, change it, or at least stop being so dependent on it. Um, you know, actually, I find that if you just release yourselves from it, then it's remarkable how simple it is to teach a child something if that's what you put your mind to it. And it's not even very expensive. So <laughs> um, this is part of, of where we need to go. And it's uh, definitely going to be something that we're going to be discussing uh, on the new program coming up here shortly.